So yeah, my chart is ready. I can control this chart using this simple drop down. Do you want to make your dashboards stand out? Well, my friend, I have an amazing custom Excel chart for you that you can create and use in your dashboards. This chart called Weffle chart. Make sure to watch this video till the end because I have a free gift for you at the end of this video. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to set up our worksheet to have 100 small square boxes. All right, so let me start with arranging columns and rows. So first of all, I'll select 10 columns from B to K and I will change the width of the columns so that I would have these small boxes. So I need 100 small boxes to create this Weffle chart. So from the cell B2 to K11. So this is my range where I have 100 small boxes. So these are the cell, but these cells look like small boxes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this formula that is a combination of sort and sequence. Now the moment I enter this formula and hit enter, it gives me number from 1 to 100. So this is something I need to apply conditional formatting that will act as a Weffle chart. So if you don't have sort and sequence functions in your Excel version, you can simply just simply insert this entire range of numbers in your worksheet and make sure to have the adjustment of columns and rows. Now we're going to use conditional formatting to create this chart. So for this, I'm going to go to my home tab, conditional formatting and new rule. And from new rule, I'm going to select format only cells. And I already have this condition here. I just need to enter the value. So I will add zero. And here, instead of adding a hard value, I will refer to a cell. Let's say M2. And I'm going to select the format from here. Let me add a fill color. So the condition is cell value between 0 and any value that I have in the cell M2. Let me click OK. Now, the moment I enter any value in the cell M2, let's say if I go with 35, it will highlight the 35 cells from starting from 1 to 35 in this entire range with the green color that I have specified in the conditional formatting. So if I go with 45, now I have 45 cents. So this is how this entire mechanism of this Weffle chart works. Now the next thing is to hide these numbers. So instead of using any color or any white color, what I'll do, I'll open the format cells option and then I'll go to custom and here I'm going to enter semicolon three times. Semicolon three times and I'm going to click OK. Literally all the numbers the entire font basically is now hidden. It's there, but it's just invisible to see within the cells. So now the next thing is I need to open format cell again. I need to put a little bit of borders here. So I'll go by adding these borders manually. Thick at the bottom and right and, and thin on the left and top. All right. Now, now, as I said, I need to make this Weffle chart dynamic. And for this, I'm going to use a drop-down list. But let me copy this data from here, which I already have in my final sheet. Let me paste this data here. And let me change the font from here. All right. So now the next thing is to add a drop-down list. So for this, I'm going to use this keyboard shortcut, Alt-A-V-V. And it will open the data validation. And from here, I'm going to go to list. Select this list, which is the names of months. And I'm going to click OK. So now I here I have this. Now I will simply use a VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP. If you don't have XLOOKUP, you can use VLOOKUP. That's fine. And this is the month name. Look up array, return array, and now you can see I can control this chart using this drop down. Now, 
from here i need to apply a bit of formatting here i need to apply borders and a few more things i need to add a chart title as well that can actually show me the value that chart is presenting so first of all let me go back and open format cells again and here i'm gonna add this dotted border and i'm gonna click ok and it's there now there's one more thing that i need to do is i need to apply a light gray color for the rest of the cell so i have green color for the cells which represent the value of the chart but rest of the blank cells i'm going to use light gray color for this i i need to select the entire range here and then go to my home tab and here i'm going to apply this light green light gray color basically so now if i change it from here and let me go to yes so i have this sharp green color here and light gray color rest of the cells and let me change the border let me go with and okay and come back yeah that's it in the end the last thing that we need to do is to have a data label that will show the value on the waffle chart now as i said the next thing is to add a chart title that will actually act as a data label for the chart so i can show the value that that value that i have here in this cell m2 so what i'll do i'll go to insert and i'm gonna click on illustrations shapes and here i have a circle now the first thing i need to do is i need to select this shape click within the formula bar enter equal sign and then select the cell where i have the value of the chart now in the end hit enter now i have the value here 38 but i need to apply a little bit of formatting so that it will sync with the chart the color of the chart so i'll go to my shape formatting and i will select let me change this color from here and now let me make this outline a little bit Now from here, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control 1 and open the shape format options. And from here, I'm going to make a few changes in the size. Okay, let me go with the properties and text. Yeah, so here I have the margins. So I'm going to decrease the margins of, of the text that I have within the shape. So I'm 0, 0 and 0. Now S. Yes. And now I'm going to go to home tab. And yes, let me increase the size of this. And let me change the font as well. I can make it bold. So yeah, my chart is ready. I can control this chart using this simple drop down.